Hello, and welcome to another guided visualization by me, Soft Sound Whispers. I'm going to start off today by doing a couple of breathing exercises just so that we can relax, calm down and prepare ourselves to be completely immersed in this relaxation session. So before I begin, please make sure that you are sat somewhere comfortable or lying down. Make sure that there are no distractions around you, your phone's on silent, and you're not going to be disturbed. Now that you're comfortable, please take note of your breathing rhythm. Feel your chest rise and fall with each breath. The purpose of this is so that we can gradually slow your heartbeat and prepare yourself to be more relaxed. So I want you to now breathe in for a little longer than you were breathing in before. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now this time, when you breathe in, I want you to hold your breath just for a couple of seconds before you exhale. Breathe in. Hold it. And exhale. Feel now how you already feel calmer and more subdued. Breathe in and breathe out all the tension. So let me set the scene for you now. We've been at home and we've packed a picnic, ready to visit a local meadow. We've visited this meadow several times before in the past, and it's one of our favourite places to go and rewind and watch the sun go down. We've taken the short drive to the meadow, and we've found a nice spot in the middle of a large clearing where we can see trees and all the flowers that are around us. We unpack our picnic basket. We place our picnic blanket on the grass. Put the basket on the blanket and sit down. In our hamper, we have plates for you and I, cutlery and glasses. We arrange these neatly around us. I take out a flask of homemade lemonade which I prepared earlier on in the afternoon, made with lemons from the garden. I pour both you and I a glass and we sit and take in our beautiful surroundings. It's a really warm summer's afternoon. Not too warm that it's uncomfortable, but warm enough for us to be wearing loose fitting clothes and feel completely at ease. We both take sips of our lemonade and take in the moment around us. 
In the meadow, there are lots of wild flowers. There's wild lavender and thyme, which fills the air with a beautiful scent. The scent of Provence in southern France. We both take deep breaths of this beautiful, fragrant air. I put my glass down and I start to unpack the food that we prepared earlier on. I've got cucumber sandwiches, tuna sandwiches, ham sandwiches. I've got a plate of salami and pickles, a selection of cheeses which we both bought together at the farmer's market yesterday, some homemade chutney, a small basket of fruit, with cut watermelon and mango, fresh raspberries, raspberries and blueberries, and we've got a homemade cake, peach and blueberry cake. Before we start to eat, we decide to lie down and have a look at the clouds. So we both lie down in a comfy spot and gaze up at the sky above us. The sky is a beautiful light blue colour, almost lavender in colour. Because it's so warm it's slightly hazy. There are very few clouds in the sky, but the ones that are there take interesting shapes and morph into different things. What can you see, I ask you? You point over to a cloud to the left and say that you can see a goldfish. I completely agree to you. It's almost so perfect that you can see scales, I add. I point to another one that looks like a dragon. Breathing fire. Another one to the right, looks like a unicorn. And you point to another which looks like a coffee cup. This is our, one of our favourite things to do together. And we've done it for a long time, ever since we became friends. We hold hands as we stare up at the sky together feeling completely content at where we are. I tell you that there's nowhere else in the world I'd rather be than exactly where we are right now. And I treasure your friendship. It's so peaceful here. You tell me that Whenever we come here, any problems that you have in your day-to-day -day life just completely melt away. I agree with you completely, I say. Nothing seems to matter when we're in our special place. I hope to come here every summer until we're old, I tell you. Are you hungry? Yes, you say. Famished. So we sit up and start deciding what we're going to start eating first. I go for the cucumber sandwiches and you go straight for the cheese platter. We've got beautiful crusty French bread freshly baked from the bakery that morning and with a knife you spread on some chutney and take a nice piece of ripe brie and some grapes. Put these on your plate and start to eat them.
Can you see those rabbits over there, I say, looking over towards the edge of the forest? There are three adults, and from what I can make out, though they're quite far away, about six babies. You remind me of the time that we saw deer here. Prancing around at the forest edge. They'd seen us and we thought they'd startle, but they hadn't done. Yes, I remember that time, I tell you. I'm surprised the rabbits haven't come closer. They always seem so tame. Not many people come up here with their dogs, so I assume that's why they had come so close. As I'm eating, I start to pick daisies. At the bottom of their stem, I insert my fingernail to make a hole, and then loop another daisy through. One daisy. Two daisies. Three daisies, four daisies, five daisies. And I continue on like this until I've made a long chain, which I then finish off and put around your neck. I take another bite of my sandwich and then ask you to pass the cheese plate. I think I'm going to try the rock fort, I tell you. Good choice, you say. You pick up a juicy piece of watermelon. It's still cold from where we left it in the fridge in the afternoon. I still can't get over how beautiful it is here, you say. The sun starts to slowly sink but we've still got a good hour of daylight left. All of our worries have drifted completely away and we're living completely in the moment. I'm going to move on to fruit as well, I say, picking up a big juicy plum and biting into it. You tell me that our ne your neighbours gave these to us. I must drop brown some of my chutney as a thank you. Look at that cloud over there. It looks like an elephant spraying water, I tell you. You disagree with me completely and say that it also looks like a dragon, but I tell you it's too rare to see two dragons in the day. You take a long sip of your homemade lemonade. So refreshing. Not too sweet, but not too sh sharp. I'm starting to feel quite tired, I tell you. Can you see that buzzard over there, hovering over the field? He must have seen a field mouse, or perhaps a vole or shrew. beautiful bird must have had a wingspan of about a metre and a half. Though you'd never know, because he was soaring so high. He looked stunning against the sky. What a beautiful backdrop. I take a picture, I tell you, if I could ever think that it would ever capture the beauty of this day. But it never does. Photos never encapture the moment, like the eyes do. I stand up and walk a couple of metres away, where I pick a small bunch of flowers. There's some pink ones. A little further to the right are some white ones. I find three red poppies nearby. What 
are you doing, you ask me? Just making a little bouquet of flowers to put on my window so when I get home. At least that way for two days I can think about this afternoon. I pick up some fresh thyme as well, which will add a beautiful scent to my room. I wish I could bottle this smell, I tell you. It's got to be one of the most beautiful smells in the whole world. I come back over to you, and out of my bag I pull out a little piece of pink ribbon, which I tie around my stems. Careful not to squash them when we put things back in the bag, I tell you. Last time was disastrous. There were petals everywhere when I had to empty the bag. Would you like some cake? Yes, you say. So I slice us both a piece of the blueberry and peach cake, which I'd freshly prepared earlier. Can you pass the cream? I think it's in the bottom of the hamper. Out you pull a small pot of fresh, creme fraiche, with vanilla and lemon juice inside. We serve both the cream and the cake and sit there, greedily eating it. Gosh, I am feeling tired now. I think I've eaten far too much. I'm going to lie back down. You decide lying down is also a good idea. So we lie back together and hold hands again, staring up at the sky. The sun has sunk in slightly deeper now. The sky has turned a beautiful hazy orange. Your eyes start to feel heavy. Breathing is slower. Do you feel completely calm and at peace? Again, we both take a long, deep breath in, savouring every moment that we can. Do you think it would be okay if I had a little nap, I do ask you? Yes, of course, you say. It's completely safe here. I don't think it would be a problem at all if we fell asleep just for half an hour. Besides, we've got nothing to do this evening. So we both let our heavy, heavy eyes slowly close shut. As we listen to the sounds of the meadow. And for